Hey guys, Dusty here. Today I'm having a little running shoe battle between two very different trail running shoes from On Running. That is the Cloud Ultra up against the Cloud Venture. In this comparison, I'll go over the basic stats on either shoe, the fit, where each shoe excels over the other, who I think each shoe is best for, and finally, which one I prefer. All right, so like I said, these are very different trail running shoes, but on paper, they more or less look pretty similar. So the Cloud Ultra has an eight millimeter heel to toe drop, a men's eight and a half, weighs in at 10.35 ounces, and it retails for 210 Canadian or 180 US. And then the Cloud Venture has a six mil drop, a men's eight and a half, weighs in at 10.5 ounces, and it retails for 190 Canadian or 150 US. Now the fit on these shoes is pretty different. We'll get started with the Cloud Ultra. So first of all, sizing, uh, the shoe fits very short. I would say the majority of people that pick up a pair of Cloud Ultras have to go up half a size. It also fits a tad on the narrow side, so if you have a really wide foot, uh, might not be the best option for you. Otherwise, the fit of the shoe is really nice. They both have built-in sock liners, so you don't really feel any seams. Um, the Cloud Ultra has a fully gusseted tongue, so the tongue is not detached at all. It's all one piece construction. And then this shoe in particular does have this little flip at the bottom of the laces. So if you're a runner and your feet tend to swell over the course of your run, you can just flip this switch and it'll loosen the laces at the bottom of the shoe, giving your foot a little bit more room to breathe. Now, I don't think my feet swell, at least not very much, and I haven't noticed any difference with this flip in the open or the closed position. Now, the fit of the Cloud Venture is pretty nice. Uh, this is the third version of this shoe, and I think it fits just a touch narrower than the previous two versions. The tongue in the shoe is semi-gusseted. Uh, it's not a one-piece construction like the Cloud Ultra is. And I should mention, both of these shoes have that extra eyelet. So if you experience any heel slipping issues, you can t lace up your shoes using the runner's knot and secure the heel a bit better. Both shoes have nice uppers, although they are quite a bit different. Cloud Ultra breathes just great, has plenty of protection around the shoe in forms of overlays and little bumpers to help protect you from rocks and roots. The Cloud Venture upper is extremely durable. It almost looks like a ripstop material. And unlike the Cloud Ultra, the Cloud Venture does come in a waterproof option. So for those of you that like your trail shoes to be waterproof, the Cloud Venture is gonna be your only option in this case. All right, now we'll talk about two of the main things that make these shoes so different, and that is the cushioning and the outsole. So get started with the Cloud Ultra. Uh, really nice cushioning. Definitely a much softer shoe when compared to the Cloud Venture. The cushioning on the Cloud Ultra is still soft enough that it feels really nice when you're running on pavement. Whereas the Cloud Venture uh, running on pavement, it's very firm, almost uh, borders on maybe too harsh of a ride on pavement. But these are trail shoes. They're designed to be ran on the trails. And the Cloud Venture, when you're on the trails, um, cushioning is just fine. All right, now the outsoles. Um, this is probably the biggest difference between the two shoes. You can see right away that the Cloud Venture is much more aggressive than the Cloud Ultra. So the lugs are way bigger. They're also much more textured. And that's gonna make the Cloud Venture a much more suitable choice the worse the trails are. So we'll just take today as an example. I um, actually went for a run in my Cloud Ultras and we just got a ton of snow here on Vancouver Island and the snow is starting to melt and the trails were very slushy and the Cloud Ultra was a terrible choice for today. Um, any sort of incline I had to walk up because I would have slipped and any sort of decline or sharp corner I had to really slow down or else I would have wiped out as well. And that's just because this outsole isn't very aggressive. It doesn't really dig into those wet slushy conditions whether it's snow mud whatever so today i should have chose the cloud venture i could i would have been a lot more sure-footed out there on the trails and that's really where the shoe is going to shine over the cloud ultra now with that being said the cloud ultra is a very versatile shoe this makes a really good door to trail option so for me when i go trail running i'll often have a lot of pavement mixed in just getting to and from the trails and to be honest i like a trail shoe that can do it all I like a trail shoe that still feels nice enough running on pavement, but can still handle some technical trails and get the job done on both while still being comfy. Now I've done lots of door to trail running in both shoes and the Cloud Ultra by far wins every time. Today honestly was probably the only run I've done where I would have preferred 
running in the Cloud Venture over the Cloud Ultra. So for me and the type of trail running that I like to do with a lot of pavement mixed in, uh, the winner of this shoe battle is a no-brainer. It's easily the Cloud Ultra. But if you're someone who's a dedicated trail runner, you don't do a lot of pavement and you do a lot of trail running up in the Alpine, like really mountainy type running, or you run when the trails are in really nasty conditions, then the Cloud Venture is gonna suit that type of a runner a lot better than the Cloud Ultra will. And I'm curious, if you have either of these shoes, let me know down below in the comments what you think of them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.